We're racing to the green and white checker at lap 60, and they are getting antsy right before we go green. Off the racetrack, onto the apron, three wide, just like we expected. Great jump there by Eckes in that 19. Guys, I think we saw something that we I think we're going to see all night. The top really didn't fire off through the restart. I, I've never seemed to figure it out, and uh, that's going to be a battle what we deal with all day. Look at Sanchez going right up the middle, outside of Mozak. That takes a little bit of nerve, doesn't it, Carson, to thread the middle like that? It, it does, but if you've gone for the back like him, you just pass so many cars, you have a little bit more confidence than uh, than you do, and uh, you just overshadows your, your thought here. Is he still here in middle three? But uh, I know he's going to stay oh. in the throttle. That gets your attention, though. Yeah, loose in the middle of three. That's crazy. That's yeah. crazy talk. Yeah, running virtually wide open and then get loose down there. Yeah, right here, he's gonna get in the sucker hole. That's his worst spot as you had. You had all this forward progression, you've had all this speed, and it's just really a confidence gut punch to just get a reality check here that uh, you're not Superman like you thought you were yet, and uh, you know he's gonna be able to rebound here, I'm sure. Carson, we talked early on about how the draft is so critical with these trucks here at this racetrack. Yeah, it's huge. Um, you, you you can get past it, it. It's one thing to pass. It's another thing. Uh, or it's one thing to catch. It's another thing to pass. But here, you can get such a big run. You know, a guy goes down to the bottom. You get a little bit of clean air on the top. You can build so, such a run that the draft is just just double. And you can just get a huge run down into one, especially two. That's really where you're going to see a lot of passes. Teammates trading blows at the front. It was Christian Eckes. Now Zane Smith back out front in the 91. And with them trading blows, Adam, as you said, here comes Corey Heim. That draft that we just talked about, it allows those other trucks to close in quickly. And Eckes says, you might have grabbed the lead from me, but I'm not giving up yet. He's going to duck back in behind the 91 to catch that little bit of draft. Follow him down in the corner on the bottom of the racetrack while Corey Heim, that 11, stays on the outside. It really starts to become a game of chess here as they start to spread out. You just start to just, the guy behind is really driving the car out in front. Uh, you know, with, them, with all that draft, it's really keeping them in tow. That It's just a game of trying to not ever get caught out and behind somebody. You just want as much clean air. Because uh, if you just lose so much momentum, you have two or three guys drafting on you and you really just get yourself in a spot you don't want to be. How would you like to be our cameraman, Adam? They, they're going to get dizzy looking around this racetrack and seeing all these battles that are going on all over the racetrack. It's so fun to see. I would say there's a lot of give and take, but it's mostly take, especially <laughs> as soon, really throughout the run. You know, you know so many.